as chair, who will work diligently to keep the Arctic Council vibrant and resilient, first and foremost for the indigenous peoples and inhabitants of the Arctic, so that the Arctic remains a region of stability and constructive cooperation. An overall ambition will be to have an inclusive chairship and to bring the work of the Arctic Council close to the peoples of citizens living in the region who must have an impact on the activities in the region, particularly on how sustainable development is interpreted and advanced. Recognizing that indigenous knowledge and perspectives are essential to understanding and managing changes in the Arctic, strong integration of indigenous knowledge alongside scientific insight in the work of the Arctic Council will be a priority. We have identified five key priorities for the Kingdom's chairship program. And they are all reflected in the Arctic Council strategy, a strategic plan for 21 to 2030. That includes indigenous peoples and local inhabitants in the Arctic, sustainable economic development and energy transition, the ocean, climate change in the Arctic, and biodiversity. These priorities reflect both national interest as well as the Arctic Council's overall strategic goals. It is important to point out that all our headlines involve a focus on indigenous peoples and indigenous knowledge. And in addition to our headlines, we'll focus on youth engagement, mental health, gender equality, and suicide prevention, prevention as well as sustainable economic development and energy transition. The chairship will have a strong uh, focus on sustainable economic development with the aim of ensuring that the initiative in, in this area is led by the peoples of the Arctic for the benefit of all residents of the Arctic, thereby particularly strengthening the economies of indigenous peoples. People living in the Arctic, of course, have a natural interest in the activities and initiatives taking place in the region. Sustainable economic development must be promoted in a balanced way with respect for different ways of life in, in the Arctic and the people's right to natural resources. Biodiversity is a key priority for the Kingdom of Denmark chairship. So continuing the good and important work on monitoring and assessing changes in the ecosystems and biodiversity in the Arctic is important to us. And we do that while uh, taking indigenous knowledge into account. That's going to be a focus for us. It's well established that the Arctic is warming at an alarming rate and climate change in the Arctic affects just about all areas that we cooperate on. It has enormous consequences for societies and for our ecosystems and therefore it is a key priority for our chairship. A large part of the Arctic is covered by ocean and life in the Arctic is deeply dependent on the health of its marine environment. Likewise here at the main entrance to the Arctic. Life at the Faroe Islands has for centuries relied on the ocean, for better or worse. The Arctic is connected to the rest of the world ocean through large-scale ocean circulation, with currents flowing polewards and equatorward. These currents transport heat, freshwater, biota, contaminants, etc. Also, fish, mammals and seabirds migrate over vast distances between the Arctic and subarctic regions, and therefore rely on and are impacted by both regions. To improve our understanding of these interconnected systems, we must strengthen international scientific collaboration and science in these regions as a whole. Under this priority, we will focus on Arctic subarctic connectivity, marine biodiversity and ecosystem threats, including pollution and invasive species. We also focus on area-based conservation measures, emergency preparedness and safe shipping underwater noise and marine litter and microplastics, as set out in the chairship program of the Kingdom of Denmark.